Hello and welcome to ECTV's news broadcast. I'm Jesse Pergolini and this is the campus news for this week. Last week, the college invited students to attend several talks given by guest lectures. Thursday, the Young Center invited Karen Johnson Weiner, author of the new book, The Lives of Amish Women, to share her research via Zoom. Johnson Weiner is also a distinguished service professor emerita at SUNY Potsdam and has 35 years of fieldwork in the Amish community. On Friday, the Department of Business hosted Dante McCrary McLean via Zoom. McCrary McLean's lectures was part of the Mars Wrigley Executive Lecture Series. This series gives students the opportunity to network and gain insight into local organizations. Fall fun has officially arrived at the Bauer Center. Last Thursday in the Bauer Center Demonstration Kitchen, the Student Wellness Advocacy Group, or SWAG, held gourd painting. Students painted pumpkins and squash with festive fall colors and patterns. Because of COVID-19 restrictions, only nine students were allowed to paint at a time. Masks were required and SWAG members dispensed supplies and gourds. Each student got to take home their fall vegetable. SWAG is not the only group that held events last week. Last Friday, OSA hosted Minute to Win It in Brinzer Field. Students formed two to four person teams to compete in 10 minute long challenges. A blindfolded maze, cup stacking, and toilet paper money wrapping were some of the events. The fastest three teams to finish each event won points. The three teams with the most points at the end of the game won prizes. The first place team won four tickets to Spooky Nook. The second place team won two tickets to Field of Screams. The third place team won four tickets to Escape Room Hershey. Over the weekend, OSA also helped students find a quiet way to get their groove on. On Saturday, students gathered in Brinzer Field for Silent Disco. Silent Disco is a rave where each person listens to music with wireless headphones. Different songs play for each person, but the beat is always the same. Silent Discos have been around for over 20 years, but they only started gaining popularity recently. The event was organized by the Office of Student Activities. This is the first year that the event is being held outside. Circles were drawn to keep groups at least six feet apart, but that didn't stop students from dancing the night away. Tuesday afternoon, American Idol contestant Louis Knight came to E-Town for the first stop on his Save a Little Love road trip tour. Knight performed out of a pickup truck parked at the Elizabethtown Bureau Community Park. The set list consisted of several original songs. Knight finished seventh on the American Idol's 18th season. Since competing on Idol, he has dropped several singles and is gearing up to release an EP. To download or stream Knight's music, visit the link below. Counseling Services in the Bauer Center invite you to their Food and Mood series. Jenny Melchior of Counseling Services and Joni Eisenhower, Assistant Director of Health Promotion, will be leading discussions about the relationship between food and mood. Food demonstrations will be included during some sessions. The second session was last Wednesday, but if you missed it, don't worry. There are still two sessions remaining from 4 to 5 p.m. on October 14th and October 21st. All sessions will be held in person in the Bauer Center Demonstration Kitchen with an option to join remotely. To register, email Joni Eisenhower. Finally, some announcements for the week. With the election fast approaching, remember that PA voter registration ends October 19th. For more information on how you can register, visit the website below. That's all for today, Jays. We'll be back next week with more campus news. I'm Jesse Pergolini. Have a great week, and remember to take flight, E-Town.